besides being considered two of the richest athletes in the world. Floyd Mayweather and LeBron James are powerful men who have amassed immense fortunes throughout their careers. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Floyd Mayweather and LeBron James. So let's fight! Watches Both moguls like to look stylish at all times, but who has the most impressive watch collection? LeBron James, for example, has high-end watches such as a Rolex Yachtmaster 2 worth $25,000 A Rolex Daydate worth $50,000 A Patek Philippe Nautilus worth $100,000 An Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Concept Black Panther worth $160,000 A Patek Philippe 6102R worth $300,000 A Richard Mill RM11-03 worth $450,000 a Richard Mill RM11-03 jean tote worth $600,000. And even a watch made exclusively for him. We are talking about an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Offshore LeBron James that can be found for around $100,000. Floyd Mayweather for his part has a jewelry collection capable of impressing anyone, such as $340,000 diamond and emerald Rolex Submariner, $350,000 Patek Philippe Ruby Bezel, $570,000 Richard Mill 59-01 $575,000 Hublet MP05 Sapphire La Ferrari $1 million Jacob & Co Royal $1,140,000 Audemar Pichuet Royal Oak Self Winding $2 million Jacob & Co Rainbow Turbillion But nothing compares to his watch, known as the Jacob & Co Billionaire one of the most exclusive and expensive watches in the world. It is a work of art made with 260 karat diamonds that reflect a lot of brilliance. The stunning 18K white gold bracelet is fully handset with 504 emerald cut white diamonds. And to own one of the most requested watches in the world, Floyd Mayweather had to fork out about $18 million. And for owning much more expensive watches, Floyd Mayweather wins this round. Point for him. Aircraft. Both stars love to travel in modern aircraft, but which of them has the most valuable jet? LeBron James, for example, has a Gulfstream G280 jet, a very modern twin-engine executive aircraft. The interior is very luxurious, with two seating areas capable of carrying up to 10 passengers with a lot of comfort. And perhaps one of the reasons the basketball star opts for modern jets is that he has already suffered a huge scare when another aircraft he was using had to make an emergency landing. But luckily everything went well. And to have this jet of his at his disposal, the athlete had to invest a lot of money. According to some sources, James' aircraft is valued at approximately $22 million. Floyd Mayweather, for his part, has a Gulfstream G650, one of the most modern, fastest, and longest flying range aircraft available. With a flying range of over 8,000 miles, Floyd can travel to different continents without the need to stop for fuel. The interior of the plane is luxuriously finished and can carry up to 18 people with great ergonomics, which you can see from the pictures posted by the fighter on his social networks. Mayweather has even posted moments where he relaxes while enjoying a good massage from a beautiful woman. The fighter also seems to enjoy playing poker with his friends, and by the amount of money they put on the table, the game must have been worth a lot of money. And to own such a luxurious and modern jet, Floyd Mayweather had to invest a real fortune. To have an idea of the price, a new aircraft of this model can cost more than $70 million. In other words, Floyd easily wins this round. Most Expensive Mansion Both athletes love to invest their fortunes in large mansions to live in, but who has the most luxurious property? Floyd Mayweather, for example, doesn't skimp on real estate. The fighter has a luxurious mansion in Beverly Hills, capable of impressing anyone for all its grandeur. Once inside, we can see that everything is very sophisticated and made of top-quality materials. All the fireplaces in the rooms, for example, are impressive, something Floyd himself made a point of sharing in a video posted on his Instagram. Another very interesting point that stands out inside is the wine cellar, which is located on a huge wall, where the fighter has also made a point of sharing with his followers moments in which he selects and enjoys good wines. 
According to real estate records, the property has about 15,000 square feet of floor space, divided into six huge bedrooms and ten luxurious bathrooms, some of which have a bathtub to enjoy the beautiful view. And of course, the house also has a gym for the fighter to keep himself conditioned. The outdoor area is another place that draws a lot of attention for its architecture, with a swimming pool in the center surrounded by a black and white striped floor, which creates a charming and unique environment. But it is down the basement stairs that we find something surprising, there is a huge movie theater equipped with several treats to please the fighter and his guests. Even in an Instagram video, Floyd Mayweather shared with his followers this unusual part of his house, where he wrote in the description of the post that the place can comfortably accommodate 50 people. And to acquire this gigantic property, it's no surprise that it must have cost a pretty penny, an estimated $25 million. LeBron James, for his part, owns a beautiful 2.5-acre property that is located in Beverly Hills in California. The huge residence of the player can offer all the luxury and refinement one can imagine, possessing its facilities and environments such as Tennis court surrounded by green areas A round swimming pool with a trampoline Besides a cinema room that he seems to like a lot And to add this property to his real estate portfolio, it was necessary to spend a real fortune According to media reports, in 2020 he needed to invest about $36.8 million. Considering the value of real estate, LeBron James wins this round. Point for the player! Cars! The two tycoons are passionate about luxury vehicles, but who owns the most expensive cars? LeBron James, for example, has owned the following vehicles. A Chevy Camaro worth $50,000. A Chevy Impala 1975 valued at $55,000. A Dodge Challenger SRT worth $60,000. A Kia K900, also worth $60,000. A Hummer H2 worth $70,000. A Mercedes Maybach S600 worth $185,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S worth $200,000. A Bentley Continental GT worth $250,000. A Ferrari 458 Spider of worth $270,000. A Ferrari 599 Convertible worth $300,000. A Mercedes-Benz Maybach 57S worth $320,000. A Rolls-Royce Phantom worth $400,000. And the most expensive and famous of all, his custom Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. It is a sports supercar capable of reaching impressive speeds, being among the fastest cars in the world. The vehicle has a 770 horsepower engine that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unbelievable 2.8 seconds, reaching a top speed of 220 miles per hour. And to acquire this super machine, it may be necessary to cash out the smallest price of $500,000. Meanwhile, Floyd Mayweather has a stuffed garage, owning vehicles such as $155,000 Mercedes G63. $160,000 Mercedes Maybach GLS $200,000 Bentley Flying Spur $205,000 Bentley Continental GT Mulliner $215,000 Ferrari Portofino $220,000 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG $225,000 Lamborghini Urus $240,000 Ferrari 458 Italia $250,000 Bentley Arnage T $260,000 Ferrari GTC 4 Lusso $280,000 McLaren 650S $310,000 Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano $340,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith $350,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan $360,000 Rolls-Royce Dawn $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador $460,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom $2 million Bugatti Veyron $3.5 million Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse And even an incredible Ferrari Enzo, a car that is rare to find and is considered a kind of collectible among car lovers. And maybe that is why its price can reach over $4 million. But without a doubt, the fighter's most expensive car is his Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, a supercar considered to be a real diamond on wheels. Because it is built entirely out of white carbon fiber, this made the vehicle very difficult and time-consuming to manufacture, which is why there are only two units in the whole world. 
and this certainly helps to justify its impressive price of $4.8 million. And for having the most luxurious vehicles, Floyd Mayweather wins this round. Point for him. Other properties. Both athletes don't skimp on their fortunes when it comes to real estate, but who has the most valuable real estate portfolio? Floyd Mayweather, for example, owns several mansions. He has, for example, a palace to call his own. It is a huge mansion of almost 22,000 square feet located on 1.40 acres of land, more than enough space to house everything the fighter needs to live in comfort and luxury. The facade of the mansion has Greek-like architecture, with huge rounded pillars that help create a superimposing look. In some of Floyd Mayweather's posts on his social networks, it was possible to get to know a little bit of his interior, where we can see that everything is also very luxurious. One thing that is quite evident is that everything in this mansion is grandiose. The fighter's closet, for example, is almost the size of a clothing store. But one of the points that most caught his attention was the incredibly covered and heated swimming pool, with several televisions so he can watch his movies while he relaxes in the water. Outside the house, there is a beautiful garden with a fountain in the middle, something that is very common in castles. And it is no wonder that according to some sources Floyd needed to invest $10 million. Now when Floyd Mayweather wants to enjoy the summer, he can enjoy his beautiful mansion in Miami Beach. This is a three-story oceanfront home on Palm Island, an artificial island in Biscayne Bay, one of the city's finest residential neighborhoods, where the fighter loves to have fun riding his scooter around. According to posts made by real estate agents, it was possible to see what the interior of the mansion looks like. The decoration is very clean, with a color palette of light tones, something that is often used in summer houses. Another point that draws attention to the property is the large window openings that exist. And because it is Floyd's mansion, it couldn't be without a super-equipped fitness center for him to maintain his excellent physical shape. In total, the property has about 10,800 square feet of built area, divided into 9 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. The outside area is undoubtedly one of the places that stands out the most and makes this house so special. There is a swimming pool with a spectacular view of the sea, and a private dock that can accommodate boats of up to 100 feet. And to acquire this imposing residence, some sources say that Floyd Mayweather had to fork out about $18 million. LeBron James, for his part, owns a 32,000-square-foot mansion in Ohio valued at around $9.5 million. Raising the price further, LeBron James once owned a beautiful lakefront mansion in Miami in the state of Florida. The interior of the mansion has a color palette of light tones on the walls that matches the darker color of the wood. In all, the house has six spacious bedrooms and eight beautiful bathrooms, counting with a few treats, such as a cinema with comfortable armchairs and a bodybuilding gym. Outside, there is a luxurious pool that at night is surrounded by colored LEDs at night, in addition to having a dock to store up to two yachts. And according to media reports, the basketball player has decided to sell the mansion in 2021 for about $12,750,000. Going even more expensive, the NBA star also once owned a half-acre estate in Los Angeles, California. Inside, the rooms are very spacious, with a total constructed area of about 9,500 square feet, divided into six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, all with jacuzzis. Outside, the grass is very green, and there is a large Olympic swimming pool with a wooden deck. And according to media reports, the player purchased the house in 2015 paying $21 million, but decided to sell it in 2021 at a loss of $19,600,000. Still in California, LeBron James owns another property located on one of the most noble streets of Los Angeles. The interior of the residence is quite sophisticated, being built with top-of-the-line materials. The kitchen, for example, features natural French oak and marble countertops from Spain. In total the property is about 9,500 square feet, being divided into 8 bedrooms and 11 luxurious marble-covered bathrooms. In addition, the mansion also offers other spoils for the player, such as a game room, a complete gym, and a cinema. And to acquire this beautiful mansion, the player needed to disburse in 2017 about $23 million. And for having the most impressive real estate portfolio, LeBron James wins this round. Point for him! business. Both athletes are also successful businessmen. 
But who has the most lucrative businesses? Floyd Mayweather, for example, founded Mayweather Promotions in 2007, a production company that manages his and several other athletes' sporting events. Still in the boxing world, he founded Mayweather Boxing Fitness, one of the fastest-growing fitness franchises in the world. Being passionate about cars, Floyd also owns TMT Racing, an American professional stock car racing team. Floyd also owns the Girl Collection, one of the most luxurious adult clubs in Las Vegas. The venture seems to be so successful that the official Instagram alone has almost 400,000 followers. In the same city, he also owns a roller skating rink known as Skate Rock City. One of his most recent business ventures is in the company Floyd NFT, which sells virtual arts that give access to various benefits. And it is also speculated that the fighter has large investments in stock market shares. LeBron James, for his part, has investments in the gastronomic sector, owning 19 franchises of the Blaze Pizza chain of pizzerias. He is also a partner in Beats Electronics, a headphone and audio equipment company owned by Apple. However, in the world of sports, he has stakes in Liverpool, one of England's biggest football teams. LeBron James is also a partner in Ladder, a sports supplementation company created in partnership with other celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he even owns a film production company, having founded Spring Hill Company, a company that produced and released in 2021 his new film called Space Jam, A New Legacy. This is all without counting all the money he receives from being a poster boy for various famous companies. To get an idea of how well-known LeBron James is in the media, he is by far the most famous basketball player on social networks, having for example more than 150 million followers on his Instagram alone. And it is for all this fame that he has been featured in campaigns for brands like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Sprite, among many others. But without a doubt his biggest contract is with Nike, a company with which he signed a lifetime contract, guaranteeing him a multi-million dollar salary for the rest of his life. And because we don't know the profit of each business, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both. Net worth. As two great athletes, there's no doubt that they've amassed huge fortunes over the course of their respective careers. But who will be the richest? Starting with LeBron James. He is the highest paid basketball player in the world for the eighth consecutive year, as well as being named the fifth highest earning athlete of all sports in the year of 2020. As a Los Angeles Lakers player alone, receives a super salary of $41,200,000. And while it's a huge amount, it's still far from being his biggest source of income. That's because it's estimated he probably makes more than $70 million off the court, mainly from his advertising contracts. To get an idea, in just his lifetime contract with Nike alone, he receives approximately $30 million per year. And it's no wonder that according to Forbes magazine, the NBA star currently has a net worth of over $1 billion. Floyd Mayweather, on the other hand, is considered the fifth highest paid athlete of all time. And one of the most impressive things about Floyd's earnings statistics is that he has managed to make a lot of money even without hardly any advertising for big companies. Most of his fortune came from his entrepreneurial side and his enormous media potential. Floyd Mayweather is a true showman, he can attract the interest of millions of people willing to pay to watch his fights. To get an idea of how much money he earned in each event, just for his fight with boxer Manny Pacquiao, it is estimated that Floyd Mayweather received an amount of $250 million. But nothing beats his fight against Irishman Conor McGregor, which was dubbed the Money Fight. The fight was considered to be one of the most lucrative of all time, which is estimated to have earned Floyd an estimated $300 million. And it's no wonder that he has been at the top of Forbes magazine several times as the highest paid athlete of the year. And adding up all the money he has received during his career, some sources estimate his fortune to be around $450 million. But he has already said that it has been a few years since he became a billionaire and that his current net worth is approximately $1.2 billion. As there's no certainty about the real value of Floyd Mayweather's fortune, we'll consider the round a draw. Points for both. At the end of this fight, we have four points for LeBron James against five points for Floyd Mayweather, making him the winner of this battle. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.